When you and I are, are dealing with these types of software that needs updating and things like that, a lot of times we're told, our systems, our systems just tell us, apply this patch and it pops up, right? Um, when you're talking about an enterprise the size of the Government of Canada, you're talking about millions of devices that have these things. And so when we go through um, and we get a software vulnerability, um, we're the ones who build these applications in some cases. And so the work that companies do on behalf of all of us as individuals, we do for the Government of Canada. And so it takes, a, it takes some time to understand, to look, to look at the version, to see if that vulnerability is even you, or it could even be used in the Government of Canada context. So for example, um, we might not use the feature that has a vulnerability. The vulnerability might not even be related to security. You're never, you never know um, with these types of things. So you have to really do a lot of IT work. Um, and it's technical and complicated, et cetera, and you go through all of these things. And then you go and you look and you have to build the application and, and apply the patch, which right. yeah, takes let, time. Let me give you just some high level numbers to give, give you a sense. This isn't like we just have a few servers in a room. You know, we're, we're talking like over 23,000 servers that support over 100 different organizations. And not, none of us can take a unilateral action to go in and begin to change things. It has to be a very coordinated effort. Mm -hmm.